Hey guys, I'm Liz Bramwell, host of The Cooking Show, and thanks for joining me here in my brand new broadcast kitchen studio. It's such a special place. This broadcast studio is also a real kitchen where my guests dine during the show. Everything is food themed, even the light fixtures. We have cipollini onions, portobello mushrooms, and giant squash blossoms. There's a dried pasta rack and even an indoor herb garden. Last week, I made a pan-seared and cider-glazed duck breast over an autumn panzanella salad. It was amazing. Stay tuned as I share some of my favorite moments and show you how to make this dish at home. So would you like to get started? Yes. Let's do it. All right, so first thing I'll get started on is going to be my butternut squash. Now we're just gonna take it, we're gonna roast it, and this is going to actually be part of our autumn or harvest panzanella salad, whatever you would like to call it. <laughs> what do you guys think of the sweet seats up there? I sat up there one time by myself, it was really exciting. <laughs> squash is peeled. I just wanna cube it. Add extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Give it a good toss and place it onto your sheet tray. Roast it up 400 degrees until the squash is tender and golden brown. So squash is in. Let's make our crostini. So I have a loaf of ciabatta here and we're just gonna make some simple crostinis just like you would get in any restaurant. I do wanna lay these out. I love this spray, it totally looks like a can. Well, it's kinda of well. But it looks like something you get at Home Depot. It's actually spray paint. Enjoy my crostinis, everyone. <laughs> Silver spray paint comes out really nice. The gloss, I went for high gloss paint. I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter for the top of my crostini, just a little. That's like a tablespoon in my eyes. You work in a restaurant, they get cubed into perfect squares. Jeff knows this. Tablespoon. Can I have a little butter? <laughs> sure. If you want a little, we'll give you like one of these. <laughs> what you're really getting is a fistful of these in no matter what you order. It's amazing. All right, so my butter is melted. To my butter, I'm just gonna add a little bit of truffle oil. No, I did already turn the heat off. We're just gonna put this over the top. Be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Butter makes, butter makes everything taste bitter. My mom calls my school the Culinary Institute of Butter and Cream. Not sure why. <laughs> Not sure why. And then I do want to salt these just slightly. And then some cheese. Right, and then parsley. This is going into the oven. I have my oven set at 350 on convection bake. We're gonna set a timer for five minutes. While those are still in the oven, I think that we'll go ahead and put together our cider glaze which takes like 30 seconds and it's very easy. Begin by adding a tablespoon of whole grain mustard and a tablespoon of Dijon. Pour in a third cup honey and a teaspoon of cider vinegar. Whisk together and slowly add in up to one cup of blended oil. Finish with salt, pepper, chopped rosemary and your apple cider reduction. Set it aside and leave out at room temperature. So by the way everyone, this is my father Randy, dad everyone. So, that's all right, you know what, he's really good. My mom reminds me all the time about how many checks she wrote for me to go to college. She's like, really, you don't wanna make the dip? You don't wanna make the dip? <laughs> You're not gonna make the dip? It's easy, there's only seven layers. It's just a seven layer, make the dip. I paid 120,000, I'm like, please leave me alone, I'll make the dip. <laughs> all right, so, crostini, done, all right? And I have a soup here. This is our wild mushroom soup. It's a combination of oyster mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, as well as hunchimegis, which are the little beach mushrooms that are on the top. Actually, last show, there was a gentleman sitting right where Dave's sitting, and he's like, are you gonna eat your soup? <laughs> no, sir, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat my soup. He's like, can I have your soup? Appreciate that. It's gonna be an extra 50 bucks. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you for the soup. You all should get an extra soup. Not today, though. How was everyone's soup? Very Whoa. Good. Very good. 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 You're like, it was great. I loved it. <laughs> we are going to 
talk about duck breastuses. <laughs> Every duck comes with two, just like us. Anyways, they're still attached. I usually take them and I split them. Right? So we'll just use one. Now see these two little pieces right here, I just pulled the tenderloins off. Right? So I'm gonna trim some of the extra skin and fat off, but you wanna make sure that the skin goes all the way around the actual muscle. So we're just gonna score it, just slightly. All right, so I do wanna season this, salt and pepper. I'm only gonna do salt on the skin side because I do want that kind of creamy white skin to stay creamy and white. So my pan right now is relatively high. You do want to hear the skin make contact with the pan and then you want to try it way down. We're looking for at least 10 minutes of rendering on the skin side before we actually flip it over and then we go ahead and finish it and butter baste it. Alright, so we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to go for like another second, I did just turn it down. Then we'll flip it, we'll baste it a little bit. At this point we want to start getting our pans and all already. Start by grilling any bread of your choice. I'm using ciabatta. Combine half an apple sliced thin and a cup of seedless red grapes. Sliver your radishes, then butter and cube your bread. Toss your salad with a couple tablespoons of your cider glaze and then finish with your roasted squash. So now I'm gonna go ahead and baste my duck breast, all right? Have the stove on low. I have a lot of duck fat in my fridge at home. It's like for everyone who saves all the bacon fat, amen, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good thing. That sketchy coffee can, acceptable in my eyes. Everyone's got that Folgers can from like 1970 and they're like, this is my grandmother's fat can. I put the bacon fat in there and then I scoop it out to then cook more bacon in it. Let's slice my duck and then we're gonna plate up. Begin by thinly slicing your duck on an angle. Drizzle your aged balsamic reduction in a spiral and in the center of your plate. Place your finished panzanella salad, high and tight, right in the middle. Crumble your goat cheese and sauce your duck with your cider glaze skin side up. Finally, fan your duck over the salad, like this, and garnish with fried sage leaves. So guys, what do you think? Woo! <laughs>